So I'm back. It's another Christmas, and this time my father decided not to go on a video, but I got my sister, Natalie. And she saw how much everybody loved uh, the video where I was cleaning silver with my dad using a redox reaction. And because she has an undergraduate chemistry degree from Jackson State University, go Tigers! She thought, hey, I should try this with the copper. So it turns out that you can get the same result using really cheap stuff that you probably already have in your house. Uh, you just need copper that's got a little bit of tarnish on it, uh, some bowl to put everything in, lemon juice and salt. So it's the same basic idea, it's a redox reaction. And you're gonna put the salt and the lemon juice yes. in the bowl? Yes. Okay. So how much do we need? Just enough to cover the um, bracelet. So I squirted this in. Uh, we're probably gonna do a jump cut so you can see what it looks like. And then we'll talk and all that good stuff. So you can see the before and afters. But we've got the lemon juice. And I was gonna add the salt. Is it a lot of salt? Low salt? Um I mean like how salty is it? They, like student tears after my exams? Yes. Okay. That should be good. Okay, so good amount of salt. So put this in. Do I need more? Is it working? I can't see. You can't see? Yes, yeah, working. Okay. Do I need to put more? No. Or? See, look. So, we've got, we've got the stuff that was in and the stuff that was out. It's working. Oh, okay, yeah, see, you can see that's much shinier. So, check it out. You've got this end that was in the salt and lemon juice uh, for about, what, maybe a minute? Yeah, less than that. Yep, and you've got this end that was not. And you can see that because uh, we reversed the tarnish reaction, you've got tarnished pieces of copper here and cleaner pieces here. So is this part of the thing you do with the jewelry? No, it was just I like um, bracelets and I saw this, I noticed my copper bracelet was changing colors so I was like how can I... Uh, reverse the reaction without uh, impacting the copper, okay. polishing it off. Okay. Something quick and easy I could do. Okay. So does this work with other pieces of jewelry, or um, just the copper, silver? I tried it with silver, the lemon juice and the salt. It did not work until I added baking soda, and when I added the baking soda, then the reaction. Um, reaction took off. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna put the rest of it in. I guess you want you want the whole thing clean. Right? Of course. Okay. You know, I don't know your jewelry life. Ha ha ha. Okay, I guess I could just put it all in. Yeah. All right. So we've got it all sitting in here in the bowl. It's gonna get cleaned up in a minute, and um, I guess you have to wash it off with water because you yeah. don't want to be lemony fresh. All right. But yeah, lemon juice and salt, you probably already have it. If you don't, it's easy to get and it's super cheap. You can also use lime juice and salt hmm. if you no. don't have lemon juice. Yeah, but isn't that for the tequila? I don't know about that. Kidding, kidding. Unless the tequila company's going to sponsor me, then I'm totally not kidding. <laughs> this is fun. Why? You're a nerd. I know. Well, you're a nerd too. I text you back with K. 
I think I should. I mean, it takes my, back potassium. I think I should have worn my Black Nerds Unite shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been perfect, wouldn't it? Right. Would've been, that would've, actually, that would have been kind of cute. I thought about bringing it, but I didn't. Aww. Aww. 